Hey everybody, so, um, in this video, sorry if you see my face, it's messy over there and everything like that. But, um, in this video, I'm going to talk to y'all about, I'm going to do an story down for y'all. So, um, anyway, this story is, like, Sad. Yeah. So, um, anyway, my mom have a truck Tahoe 19, no, 2000 Tahoe. The year is 2000 Tahoe. But, um, anyway, um, my mom accidentally put bad gas in there in the tank um really bad gas and everything like that so then a week later we was going somewhere and I'm I filmed it I filmed it, but I wasn't holding the camera, like, up like this. I was holding the camera, like, down like that. So y'all basically saw my chin and up. <coughs> but we was basically going somewhere. Um, we was going to the store and McDonald's. So, um, anyway, my mom was trying to start up the truck. Now, the truck don't own and everything like that, but the steering, the engine was, like, really bad. Anyway, by the line, we... Good as died. We good as died because um someone I forgot who was that who said if I someone told my mom if we would have taken the truck on the main road we would have laws we wouldn't have no breaks and we would have crashed into something or crash into someone and died because how the now when you put bad gas in your car in your truck, whatever. The it's bad. It's bad because your car your car is not used to that gas, and that your car don't take that gasoline. But if you accidentally put that gasoline in your car, it will mess it up. So, bottom line, my mom accidentally put a bad gas in the truck. And it wasn't drivable. It wasn't drivable. Excuse me, and it wasn't safe. But we didn't know how bad it was. We knew it was bad, 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 but we didn't know that. We didn't know that our life depended. Our, no, we didn't know our life was in danger. Like, we knew it was bad real bad but we didn't know 
our life was in danger. So anyway, that video, like, I forgot. I took that video, like, two years ago, and I think I had the same shirt on, too. <laughs> but, um, I was laughing all through the video because I was scared, and people turn their emotions differently, like, some people, if they're scared, like, if they're scared, they will be quiet and motionless. Now, if they're, and other people, if they're scared, they will, or nervous, they will laugh. So, um, I do both. If I'm scared and nervous, I will be quiet and... If I'm scared and nervous, I will laugh. So I laugh, was laughing, whatever. And my mom. <laughs> my mom tried to press on the gas to get the gasoline like out of the gas tank whatever out of the car and everything like that so she was like driving like Ooh. I don't know what you how you like explain it whatever but I do know how a race car start off Fast. That's how my mom did. My mom went so fast to try to get the truck working, to try to get some of the gasoline out of the truck. But it kept on acting strange and then everything like that and then I actually screamed and it was in that video where I I was holding the camera in one hand and legit screamed in the other hand because I thought that it was uncontrollable. I thought my mom wasn't doing it and the car was doing it by itself. So obviously I really thought that we wasn't really dangerous. But um, in that video I asked my mom was you doing it or the drug? And my mom said I was purposely doing it to try to get some of the gasoline out. And we didn't know, like I said earlier in the video, we didn't know our life was in danger. We knew that it was dangerous, but we didn't know our life was in danger until my mom took it to an a mechanic and basically basically the mechanic basically said that you're lucky to be alive. Those was his words. You're lucky to be alive because he's he the mechanic said because if your world if drove it on the beltway like on the main road your road if the brakes will come off and you're gonna and you're gonna break meaning it would have come went out of control until we were either 
hit a tree or hit someone else and everything like that so I said dang <laughs> dang my we like I'm no I say dang because we was supposed to go to, we was scared to really to go to Virginia and Virginia you got to drive on the main beltway main road and basically basically quoting what the mechanics say y'all lucky to be alive because if y'all would have went on the main road the bricks would have basically locked up on y'all and y'all couldn't break and then I then remember that video on YouTube real I think it's on YouTube but it's a um really sad video but um the video was with this family last moments because this family was riding in a minivan and he couldn't, the father, the man, couldn't put on brakes, meaning that his brakes was, his brakes locked up on him, so he was pressing, pressing on brake, on the brakes, but the, it was not stopping, stopping the car. And then they was get ready to be in an in intersection, whatever. And basically, I mean, there was an emotional video to us because the last, the last was your heard in that video was let's pray let's pray and none of them survived none of them survived they was on the um phone with the police with no one dispatchers to tell them and everything like that and yeah, anyway, none of them survived, so when I found that out, when I found that out, that the mechanic said that you was lucky to be alive, I literally thought about that video, and I'd say that really could have been me and my mom. So, anyway, um, I'm just so happy, <clears throat> I'm just so happy that someone, that, I'm so happy that God told, basically told us not to go to Virginia, because I was complaining that I wanted to go to Virginia, but we wasn't going to Virginia. And after I heard that from the mechanic, I say, okay, well. So, um, anyway, I hope y'all like this video, like, comment, subscribe.